Hey, I had a mob order for Violet. For Violet? Yes. All right, we'll see you at the window. Thank you. Good morning, welcome back to the vlog. If you're new here, I'm Violet and I'm in an accelerated nursing program in Nashville, Tennessee. Right now, I am currently at Starbucks at 5.45 in the morning on a Monday. I have clinicals today. I'm getting some coffee and then I'm gonna head over to clinicals and I think we get out at like 4.30. Also, sorry for this lighting. Gotta do what you gotta do at 5.45 in the morning on a Monday. Just got a toffee nut latte and a ham and Swiss croissant. But I'm so excited to be vlogging this week because last week was the worst week of my life. I had clinicals on Monday, a fundamentals test on Tuesday with lab and lecture. And then Wednesday I had a mental health test with lecture after. Thursday didn't have class, but Friday I had lab and then I had a pharmacology 2 test with lecture afterwards. So last week, honestly, I'm, I'm just happy to be here. Happy to still be here because last week was like throwing punches left and right. And I was like not ready to tussle, you know what I'm saying? But we made it through. I did really well on all of my exams, so I'm really proud of myself and I feel like things are just looking up for me. So welcome to my vlog. Got my friend, and I'm heading off to clinicals, and I'll let y'all know how it goes after. Okay, so I just got back from clinicals, and I had a really good day. It was, I learned a lot. So we get there around like 6, 6.15, and then we do like a little huddle with my clinical instructor and the rest of the students that are doing clinicals with me. And then we go up to the floor, and we go and find the nurse that we're going to be with for the day get our patients and then we listen to the nurses give report and we like kind of fill out our report sheet too just like help us be a part of it more and after we do report we go and get vitals on the patients that we're assigned to and just go and like introduce ourselves and all that good stuff and then after we get vitals we go to the Pixis and we collect our meds and we well first we write down on the meds that we need for each patient and then we go to the Pixis and collect all of our meds with our clinical instructor obviously and then we prepared that um, we drop our insulin and all that stuff that we need and we put like our meds in a little container um, one of my patients had like 11 meds so today I got to give some insulin shots so that was fun we're on a rehab floor so rehab starts at 9 ish sometimes 8 30 for certain patients so we try to get the meds out before 8 30 because once they go to rehab we can't really do anything because they usually go to a different room for that or like they're really busy with them. Around 11 o'clock we go and check their glucose. So like we do like the little Accu checks. I don't know if you're like a tech or you know what I'm talking about. But we go and do that. Today I got to remove staples from a head. That was so cool. Literally the highlight of my probably whole entire fundamentals class. <laughs> Plus me removing staples. It was so much fun. So after, like right before we leave, we go into like a little room to do a debriefing. And I was talking to one of the students and I was like, it was very therapeutic for me. <laughs> he literally looked at me and he was like, are you okay? <laughs> but it was, and I just like, Am I crazy for thinking that? But then the clinical instructor was like, no, it's therapeutic for me too. And then she went around and she was like telling us all where she thinks that we're going to end up after we graduate. And she told me that she sees me in trauma or the ER. So I was like, because that's definitely what I want to do. So that also made my day. And it's probably is a little concerning that I think removing staples from someone's head is therapeutic. But the girls that get it get it and the girls that don't. So a really good highlight of my day was today was someone's birthday and so we sung them happy birthday and grandma started crying and it was just so sweet i don't know it's just like good moments like that it's like yep that's why i'm here today so sorry that was a lot but i feel like a lot went on today so i had to let you know in case you're interested that's what we did in clinicals today it was really fun i enjoyed it i think i'm gonna go inside and i'm gonna work on some ati assignments and just get those out of the way for the week so that way i can do all my atis and then the rest of the week i can work on like doing my study stuff and then i go to the gym so i gotta i gotta work out to be able to sleep at night that's at the point where i'm at right now <laughs> after the gym me and aaron are going to get chick-fil-a for galentine so i got dressed and ready for the gym but i had some personal things come up so i decided i'm not going to the gym today but this is what i came home to aaron my roommate got me some flowers and chocolate for valentine's day she is seriously so sweet thank you aaron I decided not to go to the gym today just me and monkey 
hanging out. Um, I'm going to work on some ATIs and then me and Aaron are going to get Chick-fil-A for dinner and then I think we're gonna watch Marry Me. So that's what I'm doing the rest of the night. Tomorrow I have lab at 7.30 and then I have a little break. So I'm gonna study a little bit and then I have lecture from 12 to four tomorrow. So tomorrow's a really long day. Good morning, happy Tuesday. Today is the 15th of February and it is 7.10 and I'm about to leave my apartment and go to lab today. Um, I woke up this morning and I think I ate so much Chick-fil-A last night that my stomach hurts so I didn't make coffee this morning so this is going to be interesting. I'm gonna do my best with what I got, okay? Lab starts at 7.30, campus is like right down the road so I'm about to head over there. But then after lab, I have to go to post office, gonna do that, come home, eat some lunch, and then I have lecture at 12 to four. That's my day today. Okay, so I just got out of the lab. It is 9.24. I live like five minutes away from campus, so I think I'm just gonna go back home, work on some ATI modules, and then I need to go to the post office and eat some lunch because class starts at 12. I'm about to head home, get some coffee because I'm struggling. is 11:45, and i'm heading to class but it feels so good out and i'm so mad because i know in the next couple days it's gonna get back into the 40s but it's 66 degrees right now and i'm just like it feels amazing i don't want to be sitting in class for four hours but here we are i'm going to my fundamentals lecture i think we're learning more like skills today for lunch i had a very weird combination it was like lunch breakfast i ate at like 11 so brunch i had brunch uh, I wish with a mimosa. How nice would that be? Shipped off my packages. I started working on some ATIs. Now I'm going to go and head to class. And then hopefully I'm going to work out when I get back. But we'll see. Okay, so I just got out of lecture. Also, sorry, I feel like all my vlogs today have been in the car. We talked about lecture day and fundamentals ppe hygiene sterile fields the last part of class we went over like grieving and loss and death how to prepare for that but it was actually interesting in a lecture our professor told us that someone had a transplant of an organ of a pig and they're living to this day this guy had a heart transplant from a pig and is still alive i'll link the article below but it was so cool they genetically modified the pig that's something about like the genes so the heart would stop growing and then because like pigs constantly grow i guess i don't know but it was, it was a pretty cool article and the guy's still alive and it was cracking me up i lost it in class i started laughing because he said his favorite food was bacon so he's happy to have a heart a pig heart I was like, dude, what? You literally are just walking around with a big heart inside your body. Yeah, so that was the highlight of lecture today for me. Easily entertained if you can't tell. So I think I'm gonna go home and change and then head to the gym. Okay, so I finally changed and it is 4.30 and I'm about to head to the gym. I'll show you what I'm wearing. I don't even know if you can see it. Monkey. <laughs> Okay, well, you can't really see it that well, but I'm wearing a black Lululemon top and then the camo Lululemon. I'm not sure what length crop they are, but this is what I'm wearing to the gym. So I'm about to go take some pre-workout, grab my headphones, and get out of here. This is the pre-workout that I use. It's the C4 Sport I got off Amazon. Not really sure. I think it's just like the most popular one off Amazon. So that's why I got it. No in particular reason, I'm not a big pre-workout guru person, I don't really know. The blue raspberry, and I do like, I don't know if you can see it, but I do like this much of the scoop. I don't like to do a full scoop just because it is 4.30 in the afternoon and I don't think I need a full scoop of pre-workout at 4.30 in the afternoon, but I don't know, that's just me. Get one of these, got off Amazon, love Amazon. 
I also don't know if I got blue because I like the flavor of blue raspberry or if it's just because my favorite color is blue, but <laughs> cheers. Um, I'm gonna put on my shoes, gather all my stuff, and then head to the gym. Mm. morning i just got out of bed it is 9 30. erin left i think she had like a simulation or something for ob class Woo! i think i'm gonna make some coffee and get ready for the day i got this at target the other day and i love it, it just like holds my coffee grinds and it's literally specifically made for coffee because it has a little scooper thing <laughs> it's magnetic yeah little things like that make me excited so I have iced coffee in the fridge, but I just wanted a hot cup of coffee this morning while I read my daily devotional, so. Class doesn't start until 12, but me and some of my classmates are gonna go to open lab and practice doing IV. Because we learned that last week and we're still kind of getting the hang of it. If you're watching this because you're in nursing school and you've already done IVs or you're a nurse or what have you, I always forget to prime my line. And I'm like constantly pushing air into my patient. I need to remember to prime my line before I stick the IV in. So that's what I'm going to work on it. And I'll show y'all in lab. Hopefully I'll get one of them to film it of me doing the IV. So stay tuned for that. Also, I really want to get some more of these off of Amazon. I got this pajama set it's like the silk pajama set on amazon and it was like the highly rated one i'm not sure i can link it down below i actually have an amazon package coming in today so i'm excited to show you that i did really well in my three tests last week so i was like let me reward myself with an amazon package but i'm pretty sure i'm vlogging next week too because it's my birthday week i'll be vlogging next week too i'm excited for that I'm gonna go ahead and drink my coffee, do all my little daily devotional, talk to the good man upstairs, and then get ready for the day. Okay, so I just got ready for class, and I forgot I got these at Aldi. This one is a ginger shot, so I think I'm gonna take this real quick. I got turmeric ones too. I have Two of these and one turmeric one left. Oh, I'm nervous because I just brushed my teeth and it's gonna be so gross. <laughs> Ew. Oh no. Okay, I'm okay. I'm bringing this chickpea black bean salad. I combined them. I got the two of them at Aldi and then I just combined them. So I'm gonna bring that for lunch because I'll probably eat that before class starts. I'm gonna go practice some IVs. I also just submitted my care plan from Monday clinicals. For fundamentals, we have to do care plans, so I just submitted that. So I'll see you in lab. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it one more time. Yeah, I'll So this is the priming tube. So then I have to put the stopper in there. There would be a barrier there, so that wouldn't happen, you know what I'm saying? In a perfect world. Yeah. Okay, so I have to push it up so there's no air. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, so I primed the line. Oh, and hold it up. Doesn't help that his arm is moving. <laughs> I'm gonna put this down there. Done. There's my yeah. fabulous eye. <laughs> 
So I just got back from class and I'm back at home. It is 4.10 and I think I'm gonna eat some snacks and then hopefully go to the gym. Also, I was really happy I got to film a lot in Open Lab today. So hopefully y'all enjoyed watching that. I'll try to go to Open Lab more just so I can film for you. But yeah, worked a lot on IVs today. And then in mental health lecture at 12, it was 12 to 4, we went over disorders, um, split personality disorders, anxiety disorders, PTSD disorders, all that stuff. And my package did come in from Amazon, so my mailbox room area is near the gym, so I think I'm going to take some more pre-workout because I'm just not feeling the gym. I feel bad because Erin, my roommate, asked me to go run with her, but I was like, mm -mm, not today, <laughs> I'm not feeling it. So I'm gonna take some pre-workout and go to the gym. And then I'm gonna pick up my Amazon package and open that for y'all, I'm so excited. And then I'm going to do an ATI practice test for fundamentals and then I think that's all I'm doing the rest of the night. I don't think I'm gonna watch TV or anything because I have to be up at 4.30 tomorrow for clinicals. So I'm gonna pack my lunch and all that stuff tonight. But yeah, I'm excited for that. So I just had to sit there and convince myself for the past 10-15 minutes to literally physically get up and put on gym clothes. So I'm going to make some pre-workout now because if not, there ain't no way that I'm having a productive day at the gym. Like, when am I going to catch a break? I don't know. What's a break? Never heard of her. Um, so I'm using this C4. Oh, my camera's about to die. <laughs> C4 pre-workout, y'all know the deal. I think I showed it earlier. I'm gonna take um, probably not that much. Probably not that much, no. Like this much of a scoop. I don't know if you can see it. It's going in here. Got my camera, it's about to die. Oh. I'm gonna mix her up. because every last bit counts. For my workout, I usually do like a 10 minute walk with an incline and then I run for about like 20 minutes. And then after I run, I usually do weights or like a hit workout. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And then the only thing getting me through is that I have my package waiting. <laughs> okay, so I just got back from the gym. So please excuse my appearance. Uh, it's saying this battery is dead too. Hold on. Okay, I have two batteries. Okay, I have three batteries and two of them were dead, so that's alarming. Um, I'm kind of confused because both of my items fit, technically it's three items fit in this one package, so I hope they're all in here. I got the silk pillowcases. So apparently they're good for your hair and your skin and I need all the skincare remedies that I can get. Oh my gosh, they feel so good. Okay, so these are the pillowcases. They're just white. I don't know if you can see. I'm about to wash them, so. I'm about to actually wash all my sheets. Just gonna throw that in the wash with them. But they're clean and they're like $8. This is what I'm most excited about. I got a crossbody off of Amazon. It's like a, um, I don't know what kind of material that is, but here is the chain. It all came inside of here. Attach on, so it makes it like two little bags. Or you can carry around just this one bag or this one. Let me put it all together and then show you what it looks like. Okay, so I got it all together and this is what it looks like. That's the inside of that one. And that's the inside of this one. And I will link it down below if you want to get it. It was on Amazon for like $32, I think. And they had different colors. I'm about to get in the shower. I think I'm going to do an ATI assignment tonight and then pack my lunch for clinicals tomorrow in my clinical bag. And that's probably it for the rest of the night. But I'll show you all that while I'm doing it. But nothing too exciting. But that was it for today. And I'll see you all tomorrow on Thursday at 4.30.
Alright, you ready? Good, I had a mobile order for Violet. For Violet. Thank you. You too. Good morning. Happy Thursday. I am on the way to clinicals. Sorry if you can't see me. It is 5.30 in the morning, so it is still dark out. I got a toffee nut iced latte with oat milk, and then I also got a bacon, a gouda, and a chocolate croissant because I was feeling myself this morning. But clinical is kind of a hike for me, so I like to leave a little early. Also, you never know with traffic. Nashville is supposed to be getting 65 mile an hour plus winds. Starting at one, we're also supposed to be getting hail and a bunch of tornadoes. So, if this is the last time you hear from me, I love you. Go and live your life and always talk to Jesus. Have a great rest of your day. Okay, so I just got back from clinicals. I made it back and it is pouring rain and so windy, but I'm alive. It's mental health clinical. So, you know, you don't really get to do that much during mental health clinical. It's more like observational, basically, where it's fundamentals. You get to do a whole lot more like basic nursing skills. But I'm going to run inside and change and then put away some laundry. And then I think I'm just going to work on ATIs tonight and hopefully go to the gym if I'm not too tired. I did like not sleep at all last night, so that is what I'm doing for the rest of my day. Nothing too crazy. I have to get all my Starbucks <laughs> out of my car. Go, Sadie. I have to go, Sadie. I love you. I just got back from class. It's four o'clock. So today we had a pharmacology lecture at 7.30 to 11.20 and we went over the alpha and beta blockers. So it was a lot. And then I had lab at two. So we have two different lab groups. One starts at 12 and then one starts at two. And I had the two o'clock one. So I just stayed on campus and did like some extra work, ATI work and quizzes and all that stuff. And then at two, we had a dosage quiz in pharmacology. We have one every other week, so this week was the week to have a quiz. I got a 90 on it, but I think for the rest of the day, I'm going to submit some more ATI assignments and then hopefully go to the gym. Didn't go yesterday because I was not feeling it yesterday. And then I'll probably go to bed early because I have to work a 12-hour shift tomorrow. So this week is just, it's a, it's a lot. This week is a lot. I'm glad I vlogged and that you got to see this because this week was very busy for me. <laughs> a lot happened this week. And then next week I have my mental health test. And then the week after that I have fundamentals and pharmacology. So not too crazy, but I have a lot of preparation I have to do between now and like Tuesday. But I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a great rest of your day, night, whatever time it is you're watching this. See you in the next vlog.